There are three ways to create a modern ticketing experience for your customers, and we'll cover two in this video. You can review the third in our Help Center article. The two we'll cover are auto replies and signatures. The third is to build a custom reply using the API and Zapier integration. These methods of providing a ticket number allow you to maintain a conversation with human touch, unlike legacy ticketing experiences, but still provide an ID number for both your team and customers to reference if needed. One option is to set up an auto reply and use the dynamic variable for conversation ID. In front, the conversation ID will be the ticket number. You can create this experience for both team and individual inboxes, or use a company rule to capture all inboxes within your organization. First, we'll navigate to settings and go to message templates. You'll cr first create your message template to be used as the autoresponder. Here's an example I started. You'll use the double curly brackets to pull up the dynamic variables menu, and you'll use conversation ID ID variable to automatically insert the ID into your responder. You can also edit the subject line here if you'd like to override the conversation's original subject with something that includes the ID. Once the template has been created, you'll navigate to your rules and you'll set up an auto reply rule. Here's the one I've started. Go to your rules, again, individual, team, or company, depending on your workflows, and set a rule that looks like this. When inbound message is received, if the conversation is in whatever inbox, then reply using the message template you've just created, which includes your conversation ID dynamic variable. Feel free to add any other conditions that fit your needs for this particular workflow. The end result will look like this, with the auto reply collapsed as to not take up too much visual space for your team. Option two is to add the conversation ID to your signature. We'll navigate to settings and signatures. Again, you can do this for team or individual signatures. Go to your signature settings and select your signature, and you'll add the same dynamic variable into your signature for example, your conversation ID is, use the double curly brackets to pull up the variable menu and add in the conversation.id variable. Here's an example of what this will look like when you reply to your customer.